Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna walk you guys through the next few steps of your Zentangles. So now that you have your spray paint, okay, um, and you can zoom in a little if you feel like you need to. Feel free to kind of get up in the space. So now that you have your Zentangles, you might want to make a few more overlapping shapes or areas, or you could draw a string on it like that. That's just a string that I drew to divide some of those areas up. In this case, um, I kind of like the idea of just doing a few more shapes. So I'm just gonna take my, I'm gonna go with my HB pencil and trace that shape right there. And then um, right here. As I was doing this one over here, I realized that in some ways it can be kind of easier when you have like more shapes because it just, I don't know, it helps you um, like figure out how you wanna transition. Oh, I hope I didn't make a mistake. I feel like whenever I do the squares, I always kind of end up in the same angle. Oh, I didn't, okay. So they're kind of in opposite angles. Oh, I missed a spot right there. So I'm just gonna line that up. Trace the shape right there, okay. Okay, so now um, every time, every time there's an overlap, you change patterns, yes, okay? And that was part of our spray painting. So like in this one green, circle right here now that i've created these overlaps i have one two three four five six patterns right and i have this whole sheet to choose from i have this to choose from and any zentangle patterns that you can find online they're everywhere they're all over pinterest so so go to town with this and have fun this one is your creative one so you can come up with your own patterns too now to do this we kind of have a method because um, it's on top of the spray paint. It's not necessarily as easy to use your, your Sharpie pen. So um, you may want to start with your pencil a little bit. And we're also going to be able to use actual India ink to paint some of this in. So on this one here, I'm, you guys can see I'm about halfway finished with this. So this is step one. We create a, a couple of strings. If I were to create a string, I would just draw the string kind of through like that. Yeah, so that's creating a string. Okay, or you can overlap more shapes. It's completely up to you. So then, once I've done that, um, I'm, I'm here and I'm starting to fill in. So here's this string right here and I have this pattern here this pattern here, and then these that I kind of added on the outside, okay? So over here, I've got this pattern that I've already kind of sketched out with pencil. So this pattern right here is, let's see if I could find it. Oh, it's this, it's this right here. So now that I've done that with pencil, um, I can start to come in with my ink And ink, you need a little bit of water for your ink. So I have my water here, I dip it. Whenever I'm using my brush, I go like this. This is how I dip it, side to side, side to side. And then um, if I have a lot of water on my brush, then that means the ink is gonna be lighter, okay? So now I'm dipping it in my ink, and now to get this nice um, rich color, this nice rich black inky color, I'm just gonna come around my shapes. That I've sort of pre-done in pencil here. I'm looking back at these and they kind of have a thicker center and it doesn't matter because I'm gonna fill in the black later so and they have like multiple lines that make them kind of look like shells and go all the way out to the edge okay so I'm just using the ink as a way to really um, work with and um, cover up the spray paint. And then when I'm ready, I can come into the background here and just paint that in. Now you can mix um, the different, like the ink and the Sharpie. 
right? So that's how I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and then I'll paint all that in. That's how I'm gonna create the black background. So over here, I've got um, this pattern going on, which is that pattern right there. So maybe, um, maybe I'm gonna start this by drawing the Sharpie lines because I have a lot of control with the pen. And I actually want my lines on this to be like really thin. And maybe I want my string line or my outside line here and here to also be really thin. I have like a little loop-de-loop -loop right there that I'm just gonna color in, okay? Now, um, I mean, I have a couple of different op options. Since I have the ink, I could sort of alternate. So I'm looking closely at that pattern. Okay, so I have one going this way. And then the next one goes the opposite direction. And I kind of like the brush. So um, it's up to you, and then I'm just alternating. Okay. And then just filling in the patterns as I go, working uh, the whole idea. Uh, and of course we have this packet that you guys can use as well, as well as the internet images. I did notice like I was trying to do this, the little, the little pokey root over here, and that one seems like it's a lot easier to do with a pen here because I'm trying to make the root and it's kind of hard to get that nice slender root with this brush. But maybe for the background, which is all black, I might come in with the brush and fill in the background because it's gonna be a lot more efficient at doing that. Um, another thing you can do is take your darker pencils. So like your B pencils and use those for your darker spots as well. Okay, thank you.